Hey, what's going on everybody? Jason here and welcome back to another Black Ops Cold War Zombies tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to complete every Season 4 Zombies Operator mission for Vargas. The first thing you need to do before you can start going for these Operator missions is you need to buy the Season 4 Battle Pass. After you've bought the Season 4 Battle Pass, you have to level up the Battle Pass to level 60 so you unlock the Cutthroat skin for Vargas. This way, you can start going for these Operator missions. Lastly, keep in mind that you must be playing as Vargas in zombies in order for you to complete these operator missions. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump into the first zombies operator mission in season four for Vargas. The first operator mission requires you to earn 25 slaughter medals while using shotguns. And as you guys can see by the footage, the challenge actually tells you that a slaughter medal is five rapid kills, which means you have to get five rapid kills 25 times using a shotgun. This is a really easy challenge considering all of the shotguns and Black Ops Cold War zombies are really good. And it's not that difficult to wrangle up five zombies, so this operator mission won't take you very long. So eventually, you will have earned 25 slaughter medals while using a shotgun, and a prompt on screen will notify you to tell you that you've completed the first zombies operator mission for Vargas. When you complete this operator mission, you unlock the Vargas of the Dead calling card. The second zombies operator mission for Vargas requires you to get 50 kills with the War Machine support. The War Machine is the grenade launcher, score streak, and Black Ops Cold War zombies that you can craft at the crafting table for 100 blue salvage or, sometimes when you're playing on Outbreak, it can be dropped as a normal drop. And if you're playing on Zombies Onslaught, War Machines can also drop as part of the Elite Surges. But no matter what method you use to get the War Machine, getting the kills is the easy part. If you have an entire horde of zombies chasing you, all you need to do is shoot one grenade out of the grenade launcher and you might be getting anywhere between 20 to 25 kills. In other words, the War Machine is a really powerful score streak. So eventually, you will have killed 50 enemies with the War Machine, and a prompt on screen will show up to tell you that you've completed the second Zombies Operator mission in Season 4 for Vargas. When you complete this Operator mission, you unlock the Water Guide skin. The third Zombies Operator mission requires you to destroy an enemy's armor with an explosion caused by the Shatter Blast ammo mod 25 times. There are a lot of moving parts in this challenge, so let me break it down for you. Let's start at the beginning. Destroy an enemy's armor. Basically, there are armored zombies in every game mode of Black Ops Cold War Zombies except for Zombies Onslaught. Even some of the special enemies such as the Krasny Soldat and the Mangler have armor. So now we know we have to destroy those enemies' armor. Next, we have to destroy that armor with an explosion caused by the Shatter Blast ammo mod. Shatter Blast is one of the five elemental abilities that you can add to your weapon in Black Ops Cold War Zombies. The ability that Shatter Blast has is that when activated, it causes multiple explosions that damage nearby enemies and it does extra damage to armor, which is perfect because we have to destroy enemies' armor with Shatter Blast. So once you've purchased Shatter Blast and it's on your weapon, now you have to go looking for some armored zombies to destroy their armor with an explosion caused by that ammo mod. When you have an armored zombie in your horde and Shatter Blast activates, you'll know you've made progress when you see the destroyed armor message in the kill feed in the middle of your screen. When you're playing zombies for a long period of time, no matter what game mode you're playing, the armored enemies are going to be coming much later in the game. So you might have to be a little bit patient and wait for some armored zombies to spawn in on some higher rounds. So eventually you will have destroyed enemies armor with Shatter Blast 25 times and a prompt on screen will notify you to let you know that you've completed the third Zombies Operator mission for Vargas. When you complete this Operator mission, you unlock the Direct Exposure Emblem. The fourth and final Zombies Operator mission requires you to eliminate 50 enemies slowed by your Frenzied Guard field upgrade. Frenzied Guard is a multifaceted field upgrade in Black Ops Cold War Zombies. For example, it gives you temporary invulnerability while you have armor equipped and it does a couple of other things, but for right now, all we care about for this Operator mission is the slowing effect. And of course, just like the other field upgrades in Black Ops Cold War Zombies, you can charge up your Frenzied Guard by killing enemies or picking up the full power power up from Onslaught or Outbreak. I would recommend trying to hoard up as many zombies as possible so you can kill every zombie in that horde when you use your frenzied guard and all of the zombies in your horde will be slowed down. This way you can maximize the amount of slowed down zombie kills. So eventually you will have killed 50 zombies slowed down by your frenzied guard field upgrade and a prompt on screen will notify you to let you know that you've completed the fourth and final zombies operator mission in season four for Vargas. 
Upon completing this operator mission, you unlock the Jungle Cover skin. Anyways guys, that is it for this Black Ops Cold War Zombies tutorial. If you found this guide to be useful, comprehensive, and straight to the point, leave a like and subscribe if you're a brand new viewer. Also, don't forget to check out all the links down below in the description so you stay up to date with everything that I do. And with that said, have a fantastic rest of your day or night, depending on where you are in this crazy world, and I'll see you guys next time.